and then stir it. Maybe I gotta turn off my Bluetooth headset. That stopped. Oh, cool. Okay. I'm gonna actually do my homework. I'm gonna look Formation tomorrow, huh? For you. Okay, you don't have to go. I should go. You have to. Single celestial line of position, 50235. The day is 10 January. We have an 0550 zone time with a latitude of 25 degrees, 16 minutes north, and a longitude of 123 degrees, 18 minutes west. My vessel speed is 22 knots. My course is 295 degrees true. My course angle will therefore be north and west. 360 minus 295, that'll be 65 degrees west of north. So the starting distance is zero. I take a sunshot at 0915. Distance of seventy five point one seven miles. I mean, the north I'm going more north, I get more north. What are I right now? My Shot time is 0915. AP latitude will be 26 degrees north. I'll need deck. I'll need LHA. Z. ZN. This question is only asking me for my azimuth, so I can skip terms relating to HC. Perform the midlot sailing. I'm in the west, I'm going west to get more west. Local time, zone description, universal time, chronometer time, chronometer error, universal time coordinated, GHA, increment, GHA, minus west, plus east, AP, longitude, LHA, deck. Deck. A P flat. Okay. Oh, I write LT in real life, but in fake land we write zone time. Oh nine fifteen. 33.2 over 60 plus 124 over 15 is 8 plus 8. 9 plus 8 is 17. So we have 17, 15 for a universal time of the shot. 
we have a chronometer. And it says 05-14-02, but I know that that's really 17-14-02. The chronometer error of 1 minute 34 seconds slow. I'll need almanac data for the next part, but I can hold off for a second because I can still reduce the sight itself. Sextant observation of the sun's lower limb. Sextant altitude. Reach us. I see. Tip. Parent apparent. Altitude. Go to my correction table for the sun and the planets. HS is twenty four degrees zero zero point seven minutes. Index error is two point six minutes off the arc. So we put it on. My height of eye is fifty five feet. So using fifty five feet in the table. That's between fifty four point three and fifty five point eight. So I'll use minus seven point two for height apparent. So 60.7 plus 2.6 minus 7.2 for height apparent of 23 degrees, 50, ah, 56.1 minutes. It is January, so I'll use the October to March sun table, 23.56. 14.1 for the lower limb. Seventy point two becomes ten point two. And I didn't have to do that because this is a zenith, not a intercept. I can't skip doing the almanac stuff, I just go straight to art. The day is January the 10th. It's still January the 10th in UT. My GHA at 1700. 73 degrees, 04.6 minutes. With the declination of south, 21 degrees. 53.6 minutes, a D value of 0.4 in the minus direction. Three degrees, fifty four minutes. Minus point one. So twenty one degrees, fifty three point five minutes. Contrary to so make a negative in the calculator. Six fifty eight point six. A 
from the west, so I match my minutes, 58.6 minutes to make that all cancel. I'll choose 124.58.6 because that's closer to 124.33.2. 76 minus 124 is negative 48 plus 360 to get 312 degrees and I'll label that east. Make it negative, store it as 3. Z will equal Zn because I'm north and east. So one three one point four degrees true. And you already know from the azimuth unit that that's recall three sine divided by open parentheses recall one cos times recall two tan minus recall one sine times recall three cos close parentheses equals arctangent and then add 180 if it's a negative number so with 131.4 closest thing would be c